If you were born with your North Node in Leo and South Node in Aquarius, you are unique, different, quirky, and highly original. It might be the way you dress, it might be the way you speak, or the relationships you choose to be in. Your North Node in Leo, however, calls you to connect to your heart, to become more subjective, to build your confidence, and to learn that you too deserve to be in the spotlight. Let's take a closer look and talk about it in depth. My name is Anastasia. I'm a traditional Western astrologer specializing in natal relationship and predictive readings. If you like my work, please support me by leaving a like or a comment, subscribing and pressing that no notification bell. You also have the option of saying thank you by buying me a coffee or tipping me. I really appreciate that. Finally, if you'd like to work with me, check out my website, AnastasiaDoesAstrology.com, where you can book a reading or become a horoscope subscriber and receive written down or in-person readings every month. Very, very highly recommend. <laughs> so let's talk about the North Node and South Node before we talk about specific signs. What is North Node and South Node? North Node and South Node are not planets. They're mathematical points of intersection between the lunar orbit and the ecliptic, which is the solar orbit. And Whenever we get the new or full moon at those points of intersection, we get eclipses. So north and south node basically indicate these like major events in life, right? Like eclipses have long been feared and revered and people sort of give them, still give them a lot of emphasis because eclipses are the times when karmic doors are opening and closing. And Astronomically, you know, North Node is the part of the lunar orbit where the moon is climbing up. It's basically the higher point of intersection versus South Node is the part of the lunar orbit when the moon has been climbing down. And so on the level of like going up, there is a sense of excitement and anticipation. And when you're heading down, even when you're hiking and you're climbing up the mountain, you're going up, you have that, you know, eager enthusiasm and anticipation versus when you're climbing down, you've been there, done that. So, so South Node and North Node have similar energy, right? On some level, they represent the rise and the fall of fortune, the rise and the, rise and the fall of karma. Um, and there's a couple of ways of looking at it. Modern astrologers tend to really idealize North Node. They say South Node is the lessons of the past and the gifts you have brought in, but something that you are basically called to let go versus North Node is the energy that you're trying to master, that you're trying to tap, to tap into and develop this life. It's basically called the karmic purpose, right? The traditional astrologers, which I am a traditional astrologer, believe that South Node and North Node are more complicated than that. In this belief, they are tied together and the goal is to find balance between the two versus just getting rid of one and prioritizing the other. There's a similar, you know, there's a similar energy. North Node is the path upward. It's all about, it has, it just by nature has that like, eager, hungry, um, materially driven sort of sort of big loud energy, right? And it tends to it tends to make people hungrier for things that are connected to that north node, uh, whether that just be the sign or the planet that is conjunct north node. For example, Lance Armstrong was someone born with Mars conjunct North Node, I believe, and you know, he like he gained success through using steroids, which is not so good, but he felt that crazy hunger. Versus South Node is the energy of releasing and letting go and sort of softening. And both can be good when used wisely and can be negative when used not wisely, right? Like I just gave an example of Lance Armstrong, too much hunger leading to breaking the rules and not playing fair versus too much release can lead you to not care about other people and can lead you to sort of, you know, separate from anything, escape into into like drugs or alcohol because you just don't care about material success. So. So there is, there is once again a need to balance, right? With North Node 
learning how to handle that energy and stepping into that energy with more confidence and with south node kind of learning to to not overdo the release or to not <laughs> to not sort of um you know escape too much and instead learn from the difficulties learn from the past learn from experience so that you can use your south node energy with more awareness north node and south node tend to stay in two opposite signs for about 18 months so we get you know two eclipses about three times a year every six months so people born with this placement i'm going to give you some dates so you can know whether it's actually your placement or not you can also always look up in your natal chart and to see what your true node or mean node is that would be your north node so if you are born between june 11th 1961 and december 23rd 1962 you have north node and leo same for people between january 6 1980 and september 24th 1981 same energy if you're born between april 10th 2000 and october 13th 2001 and then finally may 10th 2017 november 6 2018 but these north node and leo people are just babies at this point so i doubt that they're watching my video but yeah, if you have this placement, comment below, tell me how it played out in your life and continue listening to my take on it to see whether you resonate with it or not. So North Node in Leo means your South Node is in Aquarius. And this placement is, is personal to me because I know at least two people quite deeply who have this placement. So Aquarius South Node gives you that unique attitude. You are your own person. You are not as interested at, at conforming and being liked. You know, you may you may find yourself at odds with what's normal. And a lot of it could be because you grew up with disability, for example, or because you grew up an immigrant and you spoke with an accent so there's something about you that stands out and on some level you might actually even seek to be different right like you want to do things differently like if your parents are teachers you go and become um musician right if they're musicians you become a teacher so there might just be quite like a natural rebellious attitude at the same time you may feel like an outcast or an outsider struggling to belong feeling kind of lonely and misunderstood on some level right which is that's where that leo energy comes in and like learning to own your difference but also learning to be the star that you know maybe you maybe you sniff at the stars <laughs> sniff <laughs> Uh, maybe you laugh at them maybe you make fun of them but there's a part of you with your north node and leo that wants to be known that wants to be recognized that wants to be like big on some level you know hopefully you resonate with that i feel like sometimes sometimes you may almost be like torn about it because on some level you feel like you know that is not what the community needs for people to feel like self-indulgent or self-driven so South Node in Aquarius also makes you highly rational, highly objective and scientific in your mind to a point that you take it to the extreme, right? It's like your girlfriend is asking you, you know, are we going to be okay? And you're like going into the speech of like, well, you know, 50 marriages and in divorce or something like that. It's like, it's just like you're very rational, but it can come across as like being cold or detached or a little bit aloof, I think. And so that may also be part of the reason why you can sometimes feel isolated because you're just speaking the truth, but other people are not quite agreeing with you. Um, yeah, yeah, it's it's like, it's very interesting because you're very, you know, South Node and Aquarius will give you uniqueness. It will give you like quick mind um, and brilliance on some level where like you are such like an original thinker and you have ideas that are ahead of times and you're thinking about the world you're not just you're not just focused on yourself right like you you are kind of questioning how to make the world better um but the feeling of aloneness the feeling of being an outcast the feeling of being different is likely to stick with you and south node tends to dominate the first 40 years of our life with north node maturing once we turn around like 42 basically so feeling, you know, like you do have really strong social skills, but you still might feel like 
you don't quite resonate with the people that are around you or you feel like you're too focused on them but you're not showing your true colors right so so that's where that north node it will keep reminding you to like explore creativity to explore romance to explore drama that's what's interesting here because like by nature you might be you might have this a bit of a mentality of like I don't want drama. This relationship is getting too complicated. I'm going to get out, right? But North Node and Leo is actually saying that, you know, you should, you should trust that, you know, your emotions are valid. Their feelings are valid. You should trust that you will deal with the conflict and you will get out of it in a healthy way. Um, so, you know, like learning to be more playful in relationships could be a big, important lesson for you. Um, and definitely learning to explore your creativity, I think. Learning to tap into your genius, but also not feel afraid to be the center of attention because that might be something that you actually crave. Um, so tapping, you know, like I said, artistic work, anything from like, from drawing to like theater or music um some of the people some of the famous people with this placement are beyonce and princess diana and kim kardashian tom cruise robert de niro natalie portman Justin timberlake ryan gosling a lot of actors barack obama also has this placement so like a really really good crowd to be a part of being a parent and hanging out with kids could be highly helpful for you because kids are just, you know, they see the world through their own lens. They, they are quite entitled in some ways. They're not afraid of the spotlight. They're not afraid of saying what they want. They like being the center of attention for the most part. Not everyone, but for the most part. So like, similarly, you can see how, you know, they just express this playful energy unapologetically. And so learning to be you know be that kind of playful to take center stage to express your creativity to um to become like also like learning to love yourself i think is important here because like being different than outsider and focusing too much on others can be hiding a sense of self-doubt hiding like that could be something you use to like you know not show up that you're doubting yourself that you don't feel like you deserve the spotlight or you deserve the attention so you know it's okay to feel like you are worthy of love or spotlight it's okay to feel special even though you're probably going to feel like we're all equal inside right but you really you're really called to balance your rational attitude with your playful creative generous nature and later in life there is a lot of possibility for success like it's highly likely that you will become successful and prolific and creative in what you do right um some other some other people with these placements are picasso woody allen alfred kitchcock angelina jolie who was who is creative but is also a parent right for her being a parent has been like a really big part of her identity so yeah, relationships will be big lessons for you. Kids will be huge lessons for you. And I would recommend taking like drama classes and taking improv classes and speaking in front of people or not being afraid to like give a toast. And you know, maybe you maybe you don't feel afraid, but I think there might be that once again, like sense of detachment and instead learning to embrace the flair of your North node and just going for it will be likely. So dating a Leo or surrounding yourself with Leos is another important kind of uh, kernel of growth, I think, <laughs> or, you know, hanging out, yeah, hanging out with Leos initially you may feel like they're being too entitled but later on you will come to appreciate that they're just being authentically themselves right um or really good at at being liked and sort of confident in who they are so aquarius is actually quite good at being authentically themselves but i think it's once again that balance between um between detachment and and 
truth and between between thinking about others and learning to kind of take care of yourself and express your express yourself without being afraid of judgment or without being afraid that you'll be called egoistic or whatever it might be so yeah play dance uh, become a parent hang out with children um, create don't hesitate to show your interest to the world and if you feel like you've lost your Aquarian self go to a museum think about aliens come up with a way to solve the problems of society and read something intellectually stimulating I hope you've enjoyed this video let me know what you thought if this is your placements in the comments below or if you know somebody with this placement down below let me know down below um, and I'll talk to you soon bye